Well, if you look back to the end of season tour with Ireland, um, obviously finishing disappointment, but you must be fairly proud of the effort put in over the three weeks. Yeah, look, I think when you look at the first test and, and what we achieved there, you know, to create history and be the first Irish team to win a test match in South Africa, look, you know, it is very special and, and probably even a wee bit further down the road when we get proper time to sit back and you look at your various achievements, you know, that'll rank really highly, especially with the red card after 20 minutes and, and being down to 13 men at one point. Um, but look, ultimately, we, we went there and we fully expected to, to win a test series. Um, you know, We knew we'd be competitive, which we were, but I think it'll probably go down as a, as a big missed opportunity in that second test especially to be 19-3 up at half time and, and really in control to just let them just get momentum and get back into the game um, it's disappointing well, It was great to have so much Ulster representation on the tour as well Yeah look, look the boys did really well I think when you look from Sean Reedy winning his first cap out there which is a huge honour for him and his family you're right through to boys like Lukey Marshall coming back in and, and forming a great partnership with with Stu Oling in the centres, and then obviously the way the way Jacko played in that in that first test, especially, but right through, and I think like obviously all the rugby public or rugby public saw what he did on the pitch, but it was the stuff that he was doing off the pitch in terms of leading and and talking and and you know being that general that an out half needs and growing into that role. That look, it is a big. They're big boots to fill with Johnny Sexton, and obviously before that with David Humphreys and Ronan O'Gary. You know they're they're big characters to follow, and you know Jacko did that really really well. And you're back now involved with Ulster. Started pre-season again on, on Monday with them. How's that been going so far? Yeah, it's been going all right. Um, look, it's the first week is, is something you dread because you just know it's going to be tough. And your legs are going to be sore, your body's going to be sore, and it, it's no different. In fact, as as the years go by, it nearly gets a bit harder. Um, to get out of bed in the mornings, but look, it's great to be back in, and um, it was a nice break. It felt like a very short break, but you know, to get in around and meet the new guys that have come in, see all the familiar faces back in with the staff, and just really the, the buzz for a new season started. You know, we're only two days into it now, but it, it really is. There really is a lot of excitement building around here. You just see the freshness you get after a bit of time away from each other, and uh, look, we are aiming for big things here it's always been when Les took over that was always his thing is that you know we wouldn't settle for second best you know we took small steps last year but we know we have so much more to come